Hello everyone, I'm back with a new video and in this one I'll be talking about IOMMU groups. This video is distro agnostic and should be usable with any Linux distribution. To get started we'll download this tool that will help us see all the important details in one place. I will leave the link in the video description so let's click on clone or download, download zip, save then let's open this, let's extract it here and let's go to our terminal. Let's change to the downloads directory where this should be. IOMMU viewer master, let's make it executable, chmod plus x, IOMMU viewer and now we are ready to execute it. Okay, let's run it dot slash IOMMU viewer dot sh and here we go it displays the group number the name the address the PCI ID and kernel driver news for the relevant devices so what do we see we have several graphics cards in this computer for the host I'm using this Radeon 5450 that's in IOMMU group 13 and this group as we can see, includes many other devices, USB controller, SATA controller, Ethernet controller, another USB controller. So a group like that is not considered viable. And because I'm using a gigabyte motherboard, I was able to set this GPU as the boot GPU and I'm using it for my host, even though it's located in the last PCI Express slot. So let's see what other GPUs are in this system. Here we can see a GTX 950 from NVIDIA and it's in a perfectly viable group, number 14. And we see that only one of them is assigned to VFIO-PCI driver. So what happens when we try to launch something like this? If we add only one device, and try to launch the virtual machine, we'll get an error. Please ensure all devices within the IOMMU group are bound to their VFIO bus driver. Okay, so what happens when the other one is bound to the VFIO driver? Okay, so now the whole group 14 is bound to the VFIO driver and if we try to launch the virtual machine in the same form as we did before, we'll see what happens. And it launched just fine. No issues there. Anyway, so the moral of the story is that when running a virtual machine, the whole IOMMU group has to be bound to the VFIO driver in order for it to work. Let's look at another example. Here we have a Radeon 5970. It's a dual GPU graphics card, so it means a crossfire setup on a single board. In an NVIDIA case, this would be an SLI in one graphics card, but this is a Radeon, so it's a crossfire setup. We see one GPU right here, and another GPU right here. So they are split over two groups or three groups and what else can we see group 17 has a PCI bridge in there which is not tied to VFIO driver and that doesn't matter PCI bridges don't count same with group 16 there is a PCI bridge right here but again it doesn't matter we can take a whole IOMMU group and assign it to a virtual machine so we have uh, this one, and let's try it. Add PCI host to the device, and right here we see the two GPUs. So, first one does have an audio portion, the second one doesn't. Right here, and right here. We do not even see the PCI bridges here, so we can totally disregard them. And let's try adding this one the virtual machine and let's launch it 
and we don't get any errors. Perfect. So what happens if we try to add the whole setup, both GPUs on this board to the virtual machine? Let's do that. And one more. And let's run it. And again, no errors. This works just fine. Okay, so let's look at the other devices. Here in group 20, we have a USB controller. And because it's alone in the group, we should be able to assign it to a virtual machine. And even though it is not using the VFIO-PCI kernel driver, that doesn't matter. When we launch the virtual machine with this USB controller assigned to it, the virtual machine manager will automatically bind it to the VFIO driver. And when we shut down the virtual machine, it will return back to the XHCI driver. So this only works for non-GPUs. If you have a GPU, you still have to do all the work beforehand. But for devices other than GPUs, USB controllers, SATA controllers, network controllers, or that, you can do this. So let's take a look at our virtual machine manager. Add hardware, PCI host device, and right here, USB host controller. Finish, and we should be able to launch it. Okay, and no errors pop up. And we see it start up. So let's shut it down. Now looking at our IOMMU viewer, we see that the driver, after we shut down the virtual machine, is again the XHCI driver. So it returned back. Okay, what else can we try? Let's take a look at our SATA controller here. It sits in its own IOMMU group. That means we should be able to assign it to the virtual machine, right? A HCI driver shouldn't matter. Virtual machine manager should bind it to the VFIO-PCI driver. So let's launch our virtual machine. Let's add that SATA controller and let's see what happens. Okay, and it crashes. Why does that happen? One thing to remember is any device that's in use by the host cannot be assigned to the virtual machine without it, without the host losing access to the device. So in this case, our SATA controller was actually used by the host and the hard drive was just basically detached from the host machine and now we are running without the hard drive. So all the icons disappeared right here too. So we should, if we try more things, we should eventually crash. So I will reboot now to summarize, to attach a device to a virtual machine, the whole IOMMU group has to be bound to the VFIO-PCI driver. In case of GPUs, we have our scripts that do it for us before the machine, the host machine starts. In case of other devices like sound cards, even though this one is part of the GPU, but it's still a sound card, USB devices, I mean, USB controllers, SATA controllers, Ethernet controllers, those can be bound to a VFIO driver when the virtual machine starts or is launched by the virtual machine manager. Groups like group 13 that have too many unrelated devices in them are not viable because many of these devices cannot be safely removed from the host and attached to the VFIO-PCI driver. I hope you found this video helpful and informative and I want to thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.